Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4. The version that I'm going to be installing in today's video is WR10.0.21301.1010, which is currently the newest version. WR also finally has x64 support, so it's able to run 64-bit applications on your Raspberry Pi, which at this point is absolutely amazing. In addition to that, it has onboard Bluetooth and supports USB 2.0 booting. Unfortunately, onboard Wi-Fi doesn't work yet, meaning you're going to have to use an Ethernet connection, which is honestly a sacrifice I'm more than willing to make. Additionally, the GPU doesn't work either, but support will definitely come in the future. You can also check out the WOR Discord server to stay up to date. For the installation, you'll need to click on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to the official WR website. Here, simply click on Download Newest Version and select Download. After that, you're going to have to create a new folder and unzip the content into it. Once you've done that, return to the WOR website, scroll down and click on this blue highlighted Add Guard link. From here select Windows Insider version and the newest one available for ARM. Then choose your preferred language which is English for me. Whatever Windows version you want to install, personally I'm going to go for Windows 10 Home. And finally select Download ISO Compiler in one click. To download it, click on this highlighted link. Select the download location, I recommend creating a new folder, and save it. In case a warning pops up, select keep, show more, and keep anyway. Once the file has finished downloading, open it up, click on more info, and run anyway. Now this process will take quite a while, about 40 to 50 minutes to be precise. Once it's finished, scroll up to check its location in case you don't know, and hit any key to exit. As you can see, mine is saved under the folder I created earlier. The next step is opening up the WOR imager, which is this .exe file we downloaded earlier. Once again, click on more info and run anyway. Here select the micro SD card you want to flash the image to, select Raspberry Pi 4 and hit next. Then select the ISO file from just now, hit next, click on use the latest package available on the server, hit next again, use the latest firmware available on the server, hit next, twice and finally click on install. As soon as it's done installing, click on finish, eject and plug your micro SD card out of your PC and into your Pi. After turning on your Pi, make sure to press escape as soon as your screen shows something. From here select device manager, raspberry Pi config, display config, check 720p to ensure smoother use and uncheck native resolution. Then head back by pressing escape on your keyboard and head to advanced config. Here disable limit RAM to 3GB so you can use all of your Pi's RAM. Then press escape, hit Y, press escape again, select continue, and press enter. Now your Pi will reboot, and make sure not to press anything. If it appears to have frozen, just leave it and it will continue. After that you're gonna have to go through the Windows 10 basic setup process.
As you can see, Windows 10 has been successfully installed on the Raspberry Pi 4, and you can now start using it. The great thing about WOR is that you can install a ton of apps that usually aren't available for the Pi, or simply are a complete hassle to install. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate any of them because the only Ethernet cable I had laying around broke. Anyway, if you head to the task manager, you can see that Windows 10 is indeed running on the Pi at 1.5GHz with close to 4GB of RAM. You can also check out a list of games that run on WOR so far on the WOR Discord server. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related content just like this in the future, please consider subscribing. See you in the next one.